Thank you. At this time, I'd like to recognize my partner in the city council, a colleague of Mike McMahon's, council member Vincent Gentili, whose district we are in. We just came from the picnic also. Yeah, I don't really know what anybody really else said because I just I just got here from from the picnic. But uh, uh, you know, let me uh, let, let me tell you a, a, a couple of things. Um, first, first of all, it is uh, it is my pleasure to stand here and endorse Mike McMahon. You know, it, it I appreciate someone who doesn't toe the party line, but rather looks at what's best for his his district. Now, when I look for what's best in my district, sometimes I pay the price. And, uh, um, you know, Mike... Me too. <laughs> uh, so, but Mike has stood, withstood any of the pressure and has done what he, his estimation, I think, in our estimation, has been best to this district. And that's why Mike McMahon is the right man for Congress, and that's why, with your help, he's going to get reelected. The other reason you should get reelected is simply because with two boroughs, Mike McMahon has figured out how to be everywhere at all times. And that's difficult with two boroughs. I've done it, Janelle's done it, and Mike has done it now also for the last uh, two years. And to put it simply, Mike's opponent doesn't get it, doesn't get it when it comes to Brooklyn. We don't see him, we've not heard from him. He doesn't realize that Brooklyn is a significant part of the congressional district. Therefore, anybody in Brooklyn should be for Mike McMahon because that's how important it is that we have a representative that understands that Brooklyn is part of the 13th congressional district. So, Mike, we're with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we have some district leaders who are with us today. First, we'll go with the most senior district leader, and that's from the Shore Front Democratic Club, Mark Davidovich. Our first Russian-American district leader ever elected. All right. I know a congressman almost two years, and we got fully supported from Shore Front Democratic Club. Thank you, my friend. Two more years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, Mark, thank you very much. And now we have our two newly elected district leaders, Betty and Kevin Peter. We want to both congratulate you on your wonderful victories. And first, we have Betty. Thank you, Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Bova's partner. Yes. Uh, first, I'd like to say I supported uh, Congressman McMahon two years ago. And now, as a district leader, I support him once again. And this time, I look forward to really working with him. He is independent, and that's the kind of Democrat I am. I don't always follow the lead, <laughs> although I'm the leader. I um, will vote for something that I feel is good for the district, not just like a Democratic issue. And that's why my support is 100% behind Mike McMahon. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, make history of it. First of many more to come. That's right. <laughs> okay. Next we call up uh, a gentleman, a young gentleman who's newly elected. He did a great job and we have to just really give a round of applause for getting elected. He did a great job working hard. I'm proud to say you're a friend and I just have to say you did a great job. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Pino. Thank you. How are you everybody? Uh, I am absolutely, I wouldn't miss this for the world, the McMahons and the Carrolls go back a long time. I said that two years ago when, when I said I would be supporting Congressman McMahon's election. Uh, and this year, uh, he has my first endorsement as well uh, for, for the, for the uh, congressional seat. But more importantly, on November 2nd, he has my vote. And I hope that uh, on the, that the people of, of the 60th Assembly District, people across Brooklyn, yes. across the 13th Congressional District, will go out and support a great congressman, re-elect our, our, our congressman, Michael McMahon. We don't always see eye to eye, but his office is always open. We've met with him several times on various issues, and that's what Brooklyn needs. Brooklyn needs someone, as the councilman pointed out, who knows where Brooklyn is, who, who, doesn't, who doesn't need the GPS to find his way around. 
So I, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm going to be standing side by side anytime you need me. Thank you, Congressman. I just want to just say that we as Democrats, we always don't agree 100%. But that's what makes us Democrats. We have open dialogue, but in the end, we're united as one. One, to win this congressional seat, which was dominated by the Republican Party for so many years. And this has changed the last two years when Congressman first got elected. And we're gonna keep it in Democratic congressional seat. We're gonna work hard, and we're asking everyone to come out and join us in getting Mike McMahon reelected. So ladies and gentlemen, it's with great honor and pleasure to introduce my friend and colleague, Mike McMahon. Good afternoon, everyone, and, and of course, Mr. Brown, President, Senator, and Assembly colleagues, all thank you, district leaders, my former colleagues from the City Council. Thank you so much for those uh, uh, very powerful words. Now, I am not the first uh, McMahon to come over from Staten Island and be part of this community. That's why Senator Kruger reminded me I'm one of seven children, uh, and I, almost a well, not a generation ago, half a generation ago, my brother Tom ventured over uh, back in the pioneer days and became an urban pioneer and came to Staten Island. I came from Staten Island to Brooklyn. See, I feel like I'm home. Now I and, know why they were saying and, and Tom, <laughs> being, Tom being very active in Brooklyn politics and now urban affairs and, and work up in Albany, uh, knows the senator as well. So I just want to point out my brother Tom McMahon. Tom! Here. So, uh, listen, I, I, wanted, I want you all to know this, that uh, two years ago, you all came out uh, and endorsed me. Uh, and that was wonderful, and it meant so much to me. You put your faith in me, and you said to me, Mike, you're the Democrat, uh, but, you know, we've been a little bit, you know, in the past, we've had Congress people from Staten Island who have not taken care of Brooklyn, have not been mindful of Brooklyn, have not been concerned about the people of Brooklyn. So we're putting our faith in you. Uh, but we're going to check in in a year and a half and find out if you've kept that faith. And by you all coming out here today, uh, it's so encouraging for me, for me to know that you understand and realize that I have kept that faith. Because for me, every voter of 700,000 are as important as the others, whether they're from Brooklyn or Staten Island, whether they've lived in this country for five generations or they've lived in this country uh, for 10 years or two, two years. Uh, each and every person matters to me. And so what I did, uh, I, I, I went down to Washington to be a voice for the people of Brooklyn and Staten Island, to be a strong voice uh, for our friends uh, in Israel and, and for what is important to them on international matters, and then on, on transportation and infrastructure. As we do the Recovery Act and realize that jobs is the number one issue, you'll see in Brooklyn a quarter of a mil billion dollars, a $250 million project to redo the subway lines and the DNM stations on the sub DNM lines and in the R station as well, and a whole host of issues that are important to me, uh, like Fort Hamilton, where we work very hard to bring federal dollars in there as well. And I've done that because it's not enough just to show up during election season. And you guys said to me, the borough president in particular said to me, I'm going to support you this time. It's easy, you're the Democrat, but next time you got to show me uh, that you care about the people of Brooklyn because you know how strongly he and everybody behind me advocates for the people of Brooklyn. And so I'm proud to do that. So I've been an independent voice for the people, for the small business owners. And I stand here and look at this beautiful restaurant here, Lay You In, and I think of the small business people like John Cambio, get up every day and go to work. Uh, so that they can provide jobs and income for other people. I stand up for them. I stand up for our seniors and our medical providers. I stand up for the individuals, the commuters, the people who just want to work uh, and provide a better life for their families. Because I believe at the end of the day we're all about the American dream, which is that belief that from generation to generation, uh, if we work hard and sacrifice, we can make a better life for our children and our grandchildren, and we want our children to experience that as well. That's what Brooklyn's about, that's what Staten Island's about, and that's what my service in the United States Congress has been as well. I'm thankful for your support, I'm thankful for the support of working men and women, uh, and I will uh, work hard with your help uh, to show that there is a clear choice in, in this election, and I believe that clear choice is my independent voice. I thank you all very much, I thank my staff for setting this up, Thank you, and for all my colleagues in the Senate and the Assembly, I look forward to running with you. To my colleagues in the city government, thank you for your help and leadership. And it's on to victory for all of us in November 2nd. Thank you.